Hello and welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8. Which engine do I have? This is video 28 in my series of XK8 videos. And quite simply in this video, I'm going to show you how to tell the difference very quickly between whether you have an AJ26, AJ27 or AJ38 engine and whether it's normally aspirated or supercharged. Okay, for those who aren't aware, there were three engine types in both the XK8 and the XKR, namely AJ26, AJ27, AJ34. These are all derivatives of the AJ V8 engine. Now, this uh, the first variant in the XK8 XKR was the the XK8 model year 1997. Okay, so. How you can spot this engine, the AJ26 NA, is uh, the vacuum actuator on the throttle body here. It has a square MAF sensor. The engine covers are very flat, although you can't really tell the difference here. And it has a VVT actuator on the front of the engine, uh, the binary type. Now, those who don't know the difference between XK8 and an XKR, the XK8 has this uh, very fancy air. Uh, uh, inlet manifold. All the pipes you can see here. This is actually not just uh, uh, decorative. It's actually functional. It's a very complicated inlet manifold. So moving on. In 1999, the engine was upgraded to AJ27. Now, this upgrade was actually. Well, well I'm not really talking about the upgrades in this video, but uh, how you can tell the difference? You've lost the. Uh, the vacuum actuator because you've got a fully electronic throttle. Uh, you've also got an upgraded MAF sensor. The MAF sensor is actually different here, it's not rectangular anymore. And you've got continuously variable file timing. And that actuator comes through, up through the top of the engine. Also, whether you're aware or not, it has actually uh, air assisted fuel injection. And that means this, this um, the engine covers here are slightly higher than the uh, J26 to. Uh, allow um, for all those pipes. Also, you see the badge, the four liter badge has been introduced. The lettering is a little bit different. OK, moving on then to AJ34 in model year 2003. This looks considerably different. The engine cover is quite a lot different, but it's still got the same manifold. You can see um, the air intake at the end of it, there's a sensor. And you have this. Um, regulator here, very silvery regulator, looks like a bit of an add-on. That's the AGA 34NA. Okay, moving on to the same engines uh, as they were used for the supercharged version. For, so they started out in model year 1998. Now those who don't know how to spot a supercharge, it's pretty obvious. It's got supercharge written on these big, uh, with these um, basically uh, air coolers. The actual um, supercharges run off this belt here, and it's this unit right slap bang in the center. So, it yeah, if you know what you're looking at, it's very very easy, and it's a bit of a giveaway. It's got written supercharged all over it. Okay, that was the AJ26. Now, when it was came through to AJ27, it's very similar to the NA, but obviously it's got supercharge on it. It lost the vacuum actuator, another MAF sensor. And then finally, the AJ34, again, similar to the NA, got the sensor on the end of the uh, air in, intake near the throttle body, and this uh, regulator, again, this add-on on the side. There are lots of other changes, but these are the obvious ones. This went to 4.2 litre, but it doesn't have 4.2 litre stamped on it anyway. OK, there you go. That's a very, very quick and simple way of uh, identifying which engine type you have. Uh, once you have seen the video, it's pretty obvious. But um, unless you know, you know, it's, it's, it could be quite difficult. Um, OK, hopefully that's useful to you. Um, helps you uh, source your parts so you know when you get an AJ26, 27 or 34 bits. Um, please like, share, comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.